13 Action News Update sponsored by Silver State Schools Credit Union. Happy Friday to you. I'm Ross DiMatteo right now with your 13 Action News Update. One of the most anticipated music festivals is here and going off without a hitch. The Day in Vegas Music Festival expects to see around 60,000 people here at the festival grounds this weekend. This is one of the biggest hip hop festivals in the nation, with this year's headliners being Kendrick Lamar, Tyler the Creator, and Post Malone, who replaced Travis Scott after the tragedy and chaos that happened at Astro World in Houston earlier this month. The festival here in Vegas will run until Sunday. Former Las Vegas Raiders head coach John Gruden is suing the NFL and Commissioner Roger Goodell. A new complaint filed in Clark County District Court today claims there was a malicious and orchestrated campaign against him. Gruden resigned back in October amid controversy sparked by emails containing derogatory comments. Attorneys representing Gruden claim Goodell and the league sought to destroy his career and his reputation. And the Las Vegas Days Rodeo is riding back into town today and Saturday. It was originally known as the Helderado Days event. The annual cowboy themed event celebrates Las Vegas' tribute to the Wild West. It's a two day rodeo at Core Arena near the Plaza Hotel and Casino. The gates open up at 6 p.m. and the rodeo starts at 7.30 on both days. Well, happy Friday. Made it through the week and the warm temperatures hold this weekend. Friday night, fantastic. Highs today in the upper 70s, so mid-70s as we approach dinner time. But by 7 p.m., we expect upper 60s with a clear sky and calm wind taking us into Saturday morning. We wake up to 50s both Saturday and Sunday mornings, but check out the afternoon highs in the upper 70s near 80 degrees. It's 10 plus degrees above normal, and that warmth holds through Monday. But changes are coming. Uh, increasing clouds early next week eventually bring in cooler temperatures. Highs fall near normal by the middle of next week. Danny, thanks. That was your 13 Action News update. You can always get the latest news at KTNV.com.